Hello, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jolie, otherwise known as Mrs. Frigal Trash to Cash. With the help of my husband, Justin, we are full-time resellers. We mainly sell on eBay, but a little bit on Poshmark too. So today is our weekly go over the sales that sold for the last seven days video, except the sales are pretty pathetic. <laughs> so if you've watched my last few videos, you know that we're about to go on vacation. My store actually goes in vacation mode today when I'm filming this, which is Thursday. It goes on tonight at midnight. And um, we haven't been able to send offers. I explained in the previous video why that is. And so it has just tanked our sales big time. But the good news is I've had more time to pack for the vacation because I haven't been spending a lot of time packing orders. Uh, it is what it is. Um, so let's dive into it. This group of sales will be from the 7th of June into the 13th of June. And let's go over and look and see what our first sale is. The first sale is this vintage campus flannel shirt. This came in, you've heard me talk about it numerous times. I spent $400 buying out someone's unlisted eBay inventory. They had stopped reselling. I am majorly hundreds and hundreds in the profit at this point. So this sold for $19 on Poshmark and I made a $13.18 profit. Um... This Briar horse was um, sold on Poshmark for $16. We talked about this in a video. We bought a lot of horses at a, um, a no church sale. And they ended up being only $0.40 cents a piece. So we made a $10.38 profit on that one. These ASICs we picked up at a church sale for only $1. They sold for $25 on Poshmark. And we made a $16.98 profit. All right, over to eBay. First sale were these two 15 pound vintage round head um, York dumbbells. Um, if you've been following us for a while, you know York dumbbells and like round weight plates can sell for big money. They're vintage. They were made in York, PA. And since I live in PA, we find them frequently here. So these sold on an offer for $95. We paid $9 and we made a $67.16 profit. Up next are these Skechers. They were just kind of like bungee cord, like stretchy sandals. Um, Justin found these at the bins. We paid $1.47 by weight. They cost, I mean, they sold for $20. We made a $13.37 profit. And if you're unfamiliar with the bins, that is the slang term for the Goodwill outlet where all the items are put in large bins and you pay for them by the pound. You just dig through, take what you want, and they just like weigh your cart full of stuff. Um, up next are these St. John gray dress pants. This is my only time I've ever found St. John. I always hear everyone talk about it. And it's funny because these pants came from the um, elderly lady that I talked about I think two or three videos ago that every three months or so she calls Justin up and says, I have a load of stuff for you. And he goes and picks it up and 95% of it is trash, but 5% is good stuff. And we actually showed in the video us opening the last haul from her where most of the stuff was not good. But this pair of pants came in that haul. Um, I had it listed forever though. I ended up accepting a $20 offer. They were free and we made a $16.51 profit these vans. I have stopped picking up vans. I mean, unless they're like an amazing like collab or something like that. I just can't move vans. I know people do. I can't. I don't know why. I have had these vans forever. Finally accepted a $10 offer. We paid $250 because that's another thing. Vans weigh a lot. They have really thick soles. So at the bins, they cost us on average around $250. And that's just way too high of a buy cost for things that just aren't selling enough. So we only made a $4.02 profit on those. This Chico Shimmer Top, um, this was from the first Chico's wholesale box that I got. Sold for $16.99. It was an offer. Um, the buy cost on that box was $2.68. So we made a $10.18 profit. Um, these Crocs. Justin grabbed these Crocs at the bins, they only cost 41 cents because they were a small size and they didn't weigh much. But 
he thought the whiteness on them would you could see in the picture would come off when they were cleaned and it didn't so i just priced them low to move trying to um get them out of here quickly someone sent me a ten dollar offer i accepted we made a six dollar and sixty six cent profit all right this victoria secret um sweatshirt it was brand new with tags it was from the pink line um the downside was it was an extra small so it did take a while to sell um i ended up sending out an offer of 17 dollars um, we only paid 72 cents by weight and we made a 12 dollar and 50 cent profit these reef men's sandals that have like the bottle opener on the bottom we picked these up at the salvation army when we went on 90 nine cent day except they were actually full price but they only had them for a dollar 98 clearly they don't know that reef is a great brand so they ended up selling for the full listing price of 34.99 minus a five percent coupon i had going on so we made a 26 dollar and 22 cent profit on those um these croc sloan hammered um flip-flops they were part of the 210 dollar shoe buy that i bought 31 pairs off of facebook marketplace so i have a very high buy cost on those shoes of seven dollars a piece but i was able to source 31 pairs of shoes in like 15 minutes that didn't even need cleaned so it was awesome these sold on an offer for 21.99 and we made a ten dollar and 97 cent profit so that's everything on the seventh okay we're on to the eighth now and the first sale was this really cool chico's um like no iron button down blouse it had black and white polka dots but then it had paisley elephants all over it i just thought it was a cool different design this actually came in the crappy chico's wholesale box the second one i got um it sold for 21 dollars 99 cents the buy cost on that one was really high it was three dollars and 64 cents an item because so many items were unsellable and we made a 14 dollars 79 cent profit these unique low joggers like they were in the first box you know you've heard me talk about it before if it's in the first box of clothing inventory that means it's probably in the 15 to 20 oldest items we have in our inventory so this was a bad buy it was bought very early on when i didn't really know what i was doing it sold for four dollars and fifty cents we paid 147 and we made a one dollar and ten cent profit so this is the loser sale of the week give it a clap so glad those are gone um up next is this pampered chef it's a gingerbread house mold it was still in the like original box it maybe had been used once um, I got it free from a neighbor that just always gives me stuff when um, she doesn't want it anymore because she knows I resell. Sold for $18.04 and we made a $15, no, $14.58 profit on it. Now we have some more weights, two 10 pounds and two, two and a half pounds of cap grip weight plates. They sold for $32.99. We paid $7.50 and we made a $19.02 profit. And more weights. These are weeder weight plates, 30 pounds total. These sold for $44.99. We paid about $9. And we made a $28.07 profit. This John Deere um, bandana was brand new. Justin picked it up one day to, at the bins. It only cost 11 cents by weight. It sold for $11.39 and we made an $8.34 profit. And these two 25 pound fitness um, gear Olympic weight plates, they sold for $58. Um, we paid 15 and we made a $30.94 profit. And the last item on this day were these Earth Origin Beverly sandals. We got them at the bins for $1.50. They sold for $16.99 and we made an $11.61 profit. Okay, we're on to the ninth now, and our first sale was a good one. It's this L.L. Bean organic cotton, um, kind of like fisherman style sweater. We picked it up at the bins. Um, it was a heavyweight sweater, so we paid $2.70, but it sold for $42.74, and we made a $32.29 profit. This old navy dress I picked up on 99 cent day. I only grabbed it because it was a larger size, and it was new with tags it sold for eighteen dollars and 99 cents and we made thirteen dollar and 15 cent profit 
these metro style linen pants were kind of cool. They were this pretty lavender color. Sorry, get your nose. And though there wasn't much listed and sold of this brand, the ones that were, were all like just basic boring colors. And I was like, hmm, that hadn't sold. And I was like, I think this, the color of these will sell it. So it was on 99 cent day. So it wasn't a big gamble. They ended up selling for $19.99 and we made a $15 and 21 cent profit. These Steve Madden, they were just like slip on perforated shoes. Um, we've had them for a while. They just didn't bring in much traffic. I ended up accepting an offer of $16. We paid $1.59 and made a $12.21 profit. I grabbed these Adidas shorts at a church sale for a dollar. They were like the Nike ones and they had like the no slip inside of the waistband. Um, they sold for $20. We made a $15.39 profit. These Nike Kobe's sold so fast. <laughs> I like listed them and they... I got a lowball offer in like five minutes and then it sold for full price like 10 minutes later. Um, so we got them at the bins. We only paid $2 and 37 cents. Um, they sold for full price using our 5% coupon. So they sold for $47 and 49 cents and we made a $36 and 42 cent profit. This cute Tommy Hilfiger like um, wrap dress. Sold for $18.99. I grabbed it on 99 cent day and it sold for $14.76. And the last sale this day were more ab rocket pieces. If you ever stumble upon an ab rocket that's free or a dollar or two, um, you can sell these, um, the, the knots off of them and the springs off of them. And they have sold very quickly and for decent money. So these sold for $12.99 and we um, made a $9.56 profit. All right, so we're on to the 10th now, but I'm so excited. I have to tell you, Justin just got home. So we don't buy packing paper. We always search Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist for free packing paper. We've only had to buy packing paper one time in all this time that we've sold. And um, we are literally down to like a stack this big like a folded used packing paper so that's not really that much and he found um an ad on was it facebook Craig, right. craigslist he's he's off camera um he's having his morning coffee now because he had to drive far this morning so he waited till he got home to have his coffee so he didn't need to use the pack tmi um so <laughs> Sorry myself up so he just got back and he said he has a van load of paper so once i'm done with going over the sales i'll take you outside to see what he got all right so on the 10th the first sale was this all birds bra there was one of these sold last week um justin picked these up at the bins for 34 cents it sold on posh for 16 dollars, and we made a 10 dollar and 34 cent profit this Tommy Hilfiger, it was a vintage Tommy Hilfiger skirt in a size 18. Um, I picked it up on 99 cent day. It sold for $18 on Posh. and We made an $11.39 profit. And the last Posh sale was this cute Scooby-Doo light up pumpkin head. I could have held out and got more money for this, but sales were so low. Someone sent me an offer on Poshmark. I was like, sure, because I had zero into it. Someone had a garage sale in our neighborhood and put up a notice on um, Marketplace saying, everything that's left is free, and this was in it. So when someone offered me $25 for a free item, I took it, and we made a $20 profit. Over to eBay, we have this um, polo Ralph Lauren men's um, sweater. This was in the $400 lot that we're in the profit for. Sold for $15.99, and we made an $11.59 profit. These Earth Origin shoes were a cool find. They were kind of like the shoe that's like half booty, half like heel. I don't know what the official term for them is, but we picked them up at the 99 cent sale and they sold on an offer for $28.99 and we made a $22.98 profit. This J. Jill um, blouse, it was like a really thin cottony summer blouse. It sold for $14. We got on 99 cent day, made a $10.46 profit. This horse, she was so cute. This is another one of the horses that from that buy, so they would cost 40 cents each, but this one was covered in like real animal fur and had like a glass looking eye. 
or two eyes, I guess. Um, it sold for $25 and we made an $18.30 profit. This chrome dumbbell set um, sold for, where is it, $45. We made a $35.14 profit. Of course, my page started going to the wrong section right when I'm, oh, someone just retracted an offer. Okay. Um, maybe they're buying it full price. We'll see. I had that happen yesterday because I'm not really sending out offers. Um, but so this Karen Scott sweater, that was part of the big $65 lot of um, items I bought at a estate sale. And we have made hundreds and hundreds, probably close to a thousand dollar profit on all that stuff. This was part of my 40% um, off sale. It sold for only $6.99. We made a $5.14 profit. And the last item of this day was another pair of Nike Kobe. Um, these are the Mamba Rage black and gold shoes. Um, they sold for $30. We paid $1.89 at the bins and we made a $20.38 profit. All right, so on to the 12th now. Our first sale on eBay were these little mermaid, um, kind of like beanie baby type things from the Disney store. I bought these and a whole set of Lion King ones at a church sale. Um, I'm heavily into the profit for everything I bought that day. The Lion King ones sold for a lot of money. I thought the Little Mermaid might do better because of the movie coming out, but no, they've been here for a while. I ended up taking a $9 offer. We made a $7.32 profit. This vintage Russell's, um, like, I think it was like a, was it a thermal? No, I think it was just a long sleeve t-shirt now that I think about it. It ended up having stains on the back of it. Um, we got it the bins for $1.18, sold for $14, and made an $8.78 profit. These lunch trays, I talked about these in my last video about getting them. If you don't know, vintage lunch trays can go for a lot of money. It really depends on the style and the brand and stuff, but these speckled ones definitely seem to go for a higher amount. So there was four of them. I paid $3 at a church sale. They sold for full price, but I had a coupon going on. So they ended up selling for $44.99 and we made a $30.79 profit. This sell, wait, Selzinger? Um, it was a golf dress that had like shorts underneath of it. Um, it sold for $24.29. I allotted a $2 buy cost on it because it was bought in a lot of other items and we made a $16.72 profit. This vintage Pittsburgh Steelers jacket, that's part of the $400 buy, sold for $9.17 and we made a $7.77 profit. These are little, um, little, little, no, okay. Fisher Price loving family, um, like, what are they called? Like dollhouse figures, sorry. Normally they sell for good money, but these were just weird odds and ends ones. They were from different years. I just put them in a lot together. I ended up accepting an $8 offer. We paid 55 cents at the bins and they made a $5.47 profit. This Cabbage Patch book I picked up at a church sale for $1, sold for $16.95 and we made a $10.74 profit. And the last thing were these, I never know how to say it. Oh, e -off. What are the rubber sandals? The O-E-F-O-S. How do you say that? Ofos. Okay, Ofos. Um, rubber flip-flop sandals. Um, I found these at the bins for 90 cents. They sold for $18.89 and we made a $13.33 profit. So over that whole week time, we only sold 56 items. If you watch these videos, you'll see I normally sell in the 80 some to 90 item range. So sales were down and there weren't really many big money sales in there. So our profit was the most pathetic ever of $920.25 for the week. Eee! So let's forget about this and let's go out and see what he got. All right, let's see what he got. Holy crud, I didn't realize you had to go sideways. All these boxes are filled with packing paper. Look at that. Sorry for the crappy camera work. I am so excited. This is gonna save us so much money. All right, let's get it unloaded. 
All right, we just unloaded it. There's a lot. All right, I guess I should flip the camera around to give you a better view. Look at all this paper. I can't believe he fit all of this in our van. If people say bandy vans don't haul a lot, they lie. Because they do. That's a lot of paper. I probably will see eventually if I can, I'll smooth it out so I can get more in each box. But um, since we're about to leave for vacation, I will probably just stick it in the eBay room and deal with it later. So I guess that's it for today's video. If you're watching this on Sunday, I'm laying on a beach right now. I'm so excited. All right. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Oh, I just thought of one thing I was supposed to say. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. I was thinking while we were at the beach, I might do like a Q&A video. So um, I'll ask on Instagram too. But yeah, if there's any questions of I didn't, things that I can answer while at the beach, you know, if you're asking to me to show you something about my setup, I won't be with my setup. But if there's any questions you think I can answer at the beach, they can be personal to a certain degree, <laughs> or they can be professional. Um, and I will be making a video about it, maybe while even sitting on the beach. All right. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.